Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have Microsoft Edge version 127 that's now rolling out, which Microsoft started pushing out uh, late yesterday in my part of the world on the 25th of July. Now, as always, to double check that you have this latest uh, version, uh, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And the latest version in bold after this update has been applied is version 127.0.2651.74. Now, first of all, uh, Mar Microsoft say they have fixed various bugs and performance issues once again with this latest version upgrade. And they do roll out these bug and performance fixes almost on a weekly basis. So a couple of issues there have been addressed. And then we get the security updates that have rolled out. Now, first of all, we get two edge-specific security fixes that have rolled out. So that's addressing security issues in the actual Edge browser. And then we get the 22 security fixes that have rolled out for the open source Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. And I have posted on this earlier this week, but just a quick recap for this video. Um, 22 security fixes have rolled out for the Chromium platform. Uh, three of those are high severity flaws that have been addressed. And those in include use after free um, exploits which are very common in the Chromium based web browsers and also get patched almost on a weekly basis. And then we get a couple of medium fixes that have rolled out, low severity fixes and thankfully there is no mention of any zero days that have been exploited in the wild. So 22 security fixes have rolled out for the Chromium platform. Now focusing on some other improvements and fixes and so on. Microsoft say they have improved reliability where they have fixed a browser crash that happened when using the Microsoft Edge password generator. So I always say any crash fix um, and a crash that's addressed, that's an important fix. And then we get two general fixes where automatic HTTPS should now respect the HTTP allow list policy, which um, provides a list of host names that HTTP should be permitted on. So that's basically an under the hood security fix as well. And they also resolved an issue where they fixed an issue that prevented the translate icon in the Omnibox from being clickable. So that's one of those small little significant fixes if you are using that feature which now should be addressed. That translate button in the Omnibox should now be clickable. And then there is an announcement um, where uh, would, on which I have posted on previously, and that's the SSE3 requirement, where Microsoft Edge will stop supporting CPUs that lack SSE3 in Microsoft Edge 128, which is the next stable release. And I've posted a whole video on that, so go check that out. I'll leave that down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info. And what this means is obviously devices with such CPUs won't receive any more updates. And then we get a couple of feature updates and... I'm going to mention two because the third one is really just for admins and is taking place under the hood. Um, the first is the removal of mutation events. So support for mutation events has been removed. Now, if you don't know what mutation events are, it's basically embedded media controls and web page controls in some legacy um, websites and web pages. And the reason for this is that... Um, uh, the fact that these events are still supported in browsers makes the addition of new features much more difficult. And that that um, deprecation also was made available in Google Chrome. And obviously because Edge is also based on that Chromium platform, that's also now um, support for mutation events has been removed in Edge version 127. And then just one more to mention, there's gift card redemption history in the hub. So users with a Microsoft account or Microsoft Enter ID linked account can view and utilize information from gift card redemptions through pay with rewards or the rewards dashboard. So obviously that's all found, will be found uh, in the wallet section um, of Microsoft Edge. So Microsoft says that once a user successfully redeems a gift card with pay with rewards, information relating to their gift card, date card number, PIN and so on, redemption status, um, is added to a redemption history and this information as mentioned is located in the wallet hub and then over and above that they have added two new policies and deprecated one policy and we get two obsolete policies so at the heart and core of this really um, Microsoft Edge 127 is really a security update 
and not too many front-facing features. But nonetheless, that's more or less what's new in Edge version 127. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.